Hey guys, it's Mary here, and I wanted to just make this quick clip real quick to show you guys my true hair color because after doing the video that you guys are about to watch, I realized that um, my hair wasn't looking like its true color. It was looking a lot darker than what it actually is in real life. So I wanted to show you guys my hair color real quick. Um, it looks just like this. Um, it is pretty blonde, but... Um, I guess the lighting isn't that great. It's really cloudy today in Miami. It's been raining on and off. Um, my hair is a lot blonder than what it seems like on camera, apparently. So I hope you guys find this video informative, and if you guys have any questions, you know, you can leave them down below. And it's Mary here, and um, as you guys can probably tell from my first few videos that I did to now, my hair has gradually gotten lighter and lighter, and it has definitely been a process, and it's not something that is going to happen overnight. And to explain to you guys in details how I got to this shade of blonde, that blonde um, on my roots is a little bit darker because I like the gradient effect of it. I'm not a professional. The steps that I have taken personally have uh, made significant damage to my hair. Just going to tell you guys how I got to this blonde and obviously if you guys want to take anything from this just to help you and guide you a little bit better then that's fine but I don't want to be responsible for anyone's fuck up because um, you know to each their own right my natural hair color is a dark brown it's pretty much close to the color of my eyebrows right now and it also has some auburn in it because my dad has red hair naturally and show you guys a picture um of my hair like natural like without being dyed and the texture of my hair is thick and semi straight it's not completely straight but um, it has a little bit of a wave to it so pretty much the way you guys see my hair now is of course you know after dyeing it so much and using hot tools and cutting it and after having a child your hair check uh, texture does change a little bit so so I first uh, decided well I've been dyeing my hair since I was like I was like 16 or something I started dyeing my hair like black blue black and decided that I wanted to start going lighter right after um, I had my son I was just really tired of just having the one-dimensional like dark hair so I decided that I wanted to go lighter um, not exactly blonde at first I just wanted to uh, be like I don't know like a lighter brunette I'm going to bleach my hair at home and I just bought like a bleach packet and the powder I think I got like a 30 or 40 volume developer because at that point my hair was really dark pretty much the first time that I did it it made my hair orange and it made it really really damaged what I did is that I bought like a at-home hair dye like a box hair dye and I forgot what color it was I think it was um, a light a golden blonde uh, brown or something like that along those lines and it pretty much made my hair really uh, gingery very, because obviously I didn't know at the time that if you bleach your hair you have to kind of tone it with and I had no idea about that so it just made my hair really gingery which I embraced it for a really long time after I got uh, over that stage I decided that I wanted to uh, go brown again and then after that I decided I wanted to go ombre so I ombred my hair like some notes here that I wrote down to show you guys um, I decided that I really wanted to go ahead and uh, go blonde because it had been already months and months of me damaging my own hair and I wasn't getting to uh, a color that I was genuinely happy with to go completely blonde to uh, remove my hair color and just go all around lighter they charged me like a hundred in twenty dollars pretty much bleached my whole head of hair including they left maybe 
a couple of inches of my root color and everything else they pretty much bleached it and um, they bleached it to the point where my hair was yellow like bright yellow like a banana they kept toning it but whatever toner or whatever product they were using to tone my hair wasn't really doing anything so we did like three three days or something and I decided to take it upon myself and just buy an ash tone box dye and I also used purple shampoo purple shampoo that I was using and that I've been using is this one right here and it is called shiny silver ultra um, by the one and only the brand is right here and um, this is actually uh, something that's been helping a lot and I've learned that if I mix this purple shampoo with a couple drops of blue food coloring um, it definitely does a really good job at canceling out the really yellow tones in my hair the color that I have is right here I've been saving the boxes so I can do this video and show you here it's by Revlon and it's in the color medium blonde 175 it says that it's a glowing blonde without the brassiness not sure if you could tell if it's the same color or not I decided to apply that to my hair and I pretty much applied it everywhere except my roots I kind of like leave my roots alone and then after that, um, I decided to just continue doing this. I would apply purple shampoo and I would leave it on for 20 minutes and I would just put a shower cap on and then I would wash it off. Um, just a forewarning, purple shampoo definitely does dry your hair out a lot or that you use some kind of conditioning treatment afterwards. The Vidal Sassoon Pro Series uh, Repair One Minute Mask. And I got this for $6 and at my local pharmacy and this stuff was doing a really good job at um, making my hair feel really soft and not as damaged especially on my ends because they were just fried so um, make sure you have a conditioning treatment for every time that you decide you're going to retouch the color or dye it whether you go to a salon or whether you do it at home make sure that you have your conditioning treatments after I applied that color I decided I wanted to do a um, reverse ombre and or balayage and uh, my hair was already light so at this point I just wanted to touch up my roots and um, I went ahead and I rebleached some strands and I did kind of like a balayage where you know you get some like smaller highlights to frame the face and um, I rebleached my tips so they can get a little bit lighter for my roots is color charm in dark ash brown now this was a mistake because when I went to the store I meant to get um, just a regular ash brown and I ended up getting dark so it did uh, make my hair look really dark it, it says to leave it on for 30 minutes but I left it on for 10 minutes I just washed it off with warm water right away I started using this recently and this is the Aussie hair insurance leave-in conditioner this stuff is a miracle worker like I apply this anytime I feel like my ends are dry I just literally just spray a little bit like this and it smells really good it smells really beachy which I really like and I got this for under four dollars and this brings eight ounces and it's going to last me a really long time my hair and after I get out of the shower I will just drench my hair in this and I will wrap it in a towel and I will and I'll just leave it in my hair until my my hair is not as wet the Hollywood Beauty olive oil uh, this is great for your scalp your hair your skin um, it's great to use it as a heat protectant and I've been just using this so much I've had it for a few months, I would say I'd, I've had it for like 5 months and um, it's lasted me this much. After I got to a level where like I really like my hair, if it was too ashy from using a purple shampoo, I would just skip using a purple shampoo, wash it and my hair would be a lot more golden. And then I started uh, using this which is the John Frieda Go Blonder. Uh, shampoo and I've been using this this has uh, citrus chamomile and it's been doing a really good job at maintaining the golden blonde kind of shades in my hair
hair is still kind of brown up here I don't want my hair to turn orange um, but I've been using this I will lather it into my hair and I would and I would rinse it out and then do it one more time and it's been doing a really good job and then of course I use um, this every single time that I wash my hair or even on days like I said I'll just randomly spray it into my ends if they feel too dry and another product I wanted to talk to you guys about that I've been absolutely loving and um, it's the Suave Professionals uh, dry shampoo spray. This stuff is awesome. I use it even when my hair is clean because it does a great job at texturizing and volumizing your hair. And I feel like now that my hair is a lot lighter, I love just having that bob with, you know, lots of volume and having very texturized PC um, bits. And especially now that I've got my really tan skin with the, you know, golden blonde hair, like I just absolutely love it. My hair is to a color that I really enjoy. I am not going to bleach it or dye it for a really long time. I do have an asymmetrical bob where it is longer in the front and shorter um, in the back. But um, I'm definitely going to let my hair grow and just let it repair itself by using these hair products advice just to make it short because this video is already long enough is make sure that you really give your hair a break if you are a brunette and you want to go lighter don't go lighter in one like day you know what I mean and in between those trials you are going to get like a hair color that isn't so flattering or isn't you know as blonde or whatever but you have to kind of give your hair a break that will guide you to getting that beautiful blonde beachy hair that we all want and love for the summer so um, that wraps up my video and I hope you guys found this enjoyable you guys found this informative more more than anything if you guys want more hair videos and stuff like that um, also give this video a like so um, you guys can check me out on Instagram it's Mary underscore James and I will leave all the information down below for you guys as always thank you so much for watching lovely week so far. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye!